Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you uh, three blouses uh, made from the uh, Onella blouse uh, from moofabrics.com uh, plus a matching skirt. And this is the second video on this particular Onella Pussy Bow blouse. And for the first one, uh, please check out my video number 41. So the first one that I will share with you today is this one here uh, in a sort of orangey red uh, viscose rayon. Um, that is a refashion of two Ann Taylor loft dresses. And uh, so here is a close-up of uh, the print and also the texture uh, of this fabric. About the fabric used uh, for this uh, blouse, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this blouse is from a refashion project uh, of two Ann Taylor loft dresses. Um, so in April of this year, Ann Taylor loft was having a crazy sale and uh, um, for $13 a dress plus free shipping. And so I purchased two um, of uh, this dress um, in plus size 26 uh, to ensure that I had enough uh, fabric for uh, any refashion projects that may, that may uh, do. And uh, originally, even though I really like this print and the color, I saw that a dress, you know, with such in such bright colors and such bold print might be a little too much uh, for my comfort level. Um, so when I was making the second batch of the Onella blouses, I saw that uh, the dresses would be a perfect um, choice uh, for this Onella blouse because obviously it's a, you know it's viscose, so it's very drapey, and also a pop of color is especially welcome when we are uh, approaching you know we're already in fall and also approaching winter uh, so that would be good and so i'm very happy about how this one turned out um so the only change that i made on this particular blouse is the um was the sleeves and so here um i shortened the sleeves by three inches and then I, I did this sort of like mini cuffs here and uh, so I'm very happy how this uh, worked out and I got the idea of doing the three-quarter sleeve length is actually from my mother um, I recently uh, made her a Onella blouse and um, she requested a three-quarter sleeve length because she she didn't care for the full length sleeves and so that was what I did and um, and after I made up hers it really you know looked great and so I decided to do the same thing uh, for this orangey red uh, version and so here is a picture comparing my mother's uh, version which is a sort of like a, a light brown with a floral print uh, and versus this uh, and Taylor loft print and uh, so they both have the same three-quarter sleeve uh, but for my mother's version she requested the short bow tie so that was what I did and so you can see uh, sort of the difference you know in terms of the bow tie length and the fabric choice so here is a quick video of this uh, blouse and I paired it with a pair of jeans and a pair of three and a half inch uh, red sandal heels and uh, I'm very happy you know how this combination and uh, in a way I could also pair this blouse uh, with a, a skirt for work but I think you know uh, it works perfectly well uh, with a pair of jeans uh, for a more casual look and I decided to dress it up a bit you know by pairing the ensemble uh, with a pair of heels the second Onella blouse that I will share with you today is this, uh, this one here made from two yards of navy blue crepe de chine that I purchased from moonfabrics.com and uh, so here is a sort of close up a bit of the, the texture and sort of the sheen of this uh, so crepe de chine and um, so the change that I made for this one was uh, only the neckline. 
and um, originally I had wanted to make a very high sort of you know neckline like this. Um, the reason is because recently I, I watched quite a few of the promo clips of the new season of The Crown on YouTube and in those clips uh, Margaret Thatcher was wearing a lot of the pussy bow blouses and obviously that was because pussy bow blouses was a very popular choice for professional women at the time in late 70s and early 80s and so she wore several versions of the pussy bow blouses you know some of them have a v-neck and some of them have sort of very high round neck line like this and then she would wear the blouse under a suit jacket and so i wanted to make one sort of with the very high round neck but uh but what I didn't realize was that the, the weight of this tie would kind of drag down the neckline a bit. So really to achieve that very high round neckline, I would really need to raise the, the neckline by a lot. And, but I didn't do that. So now it kind of still looks like a little mini V-neck still because of the weight of the, the bow tie, even though originally I cut it as a, uh, round neckline so here you can kind of see so originally you know it's, a, it's kind of hard to see but it is i assure you it is a round neckline but this is what it looks like and i suppose you know it's possible if i just kind of lift it up and then just kind of wrap it around maybe you can also achieve that same look but i was thinking that since the silk feels so amazing on the skin when it gets really cold, maybe I could just kind of wrap it around my neck, kind of like a scarf. Um, so, uh, so that might be an idea. And so for this one, I didn't change anything else. So I made it uh, with the same uh, full length sleeves uh, with these cuffs. And uh, to give the cuff some body, uh, and normally we use some sort of a cotton as my interfacing. But in this case, because I actually had enough of this leftover, so I just cut out two of the so crepe de chine and as um, so one obviously is the exterior side and the other side is my uh, interfacing and it works very well it uh, gives it some body but it's still very soft so I'm very happy uh, about how this one works out and uh, it's a little tricky because um, the the Onella blouse, the collar uh, slash bow tie piece is actually cut on the grain and uh, it normally works you know, very well when uh, the neckline is a deep V because there's not a very sharp turn. But here because I changed the neckline to a round neck so it was a bit of a, I would not call it a struggle but definitely you know I need to pay a lot more attention how to manipulate the the tie piece so that you can turn you know this fairly sharp turn for the round neck uh, but it still works fine and so I'm very happy about how this one uh, works out so here is a quick video of this uh, navy blue silk crepe de chine version of the Onella blouse and I paired the blouse with a pair of jeans and also a pair of black ballet flats and uh, I'm very happy how this works out even though obviously originally I made this blouse uh, as a primarily a work wear uh, but I have nothing in my wardrobe that really is a suitable uh, companion uh, for this blouse so I will have to uh, make something uh, to go with this blouse but I think for now it works very well with a pair of jeans and uh, so I'm very happy about it the final project that I will share with you today is this ensemble here um, made from two and a half yards of about 56 inch uh, viscose that I purchased from moofabrics.com and uh, so here's a close up of the texture of the fabric and also the print uh, so you know talk about living on the wild side um, even though normally this um, analog print is generally not my thing but somehow when I saw this on the website I just really liked it and um, so I bought two and a half yards of this fabric and uh, and so that's you know what I use for this ensemble. 
And um, the reason I wanted to make an ensemble is because I wanted to have a very cohesive look. And so similar to the Caution Voile uh, ensemble uh, that I talked about in uh, the first Onella blouse video, video number 41. Um, so that, you know, that's what I wanted. Uh, but because I only had two and a half yards and because this blouse took, took up about almost uh, two yards of fabric, so I knew I needed to be very economical in, uh, in choosing the, the skirt pattern. And so I turned to uh, my tried and true uh, new look 6843 pattern, uh, view A. And view A is a bit of a quarter circle skirt. And I have previously used this skirt um, in countless um, dresses that I have uh, made before. Uh, more notably, the Winter Wool uh, No Dart Dress series, and also a lot of the uh, the Fall FAUX shirt dresses that I made over the summer. Uh, but I think finally I have used um, the perfect fabric for this skirt because um, finally, uh, because of the drapiness of this viscose fabric. Um, you really can see the uh, sort of how the fluidity of this um, skirt and uh, and also it doesn't puff out too much because when the fabric has too much body it kind of sticks out a bit like this but I think this is a much more uh, flattering silhouette on me so I'm really happy about this one here so so this is what it looks like. And for the skirt, I also did the same thing, you know, with a little tab overlapping. And uh, and so, you know, one, I uh, secured it with one uh, button here. And uh, so this is what it looks like. And I actually had enough fabric left over, so I was able to cut out uh, pockets. So for this. One thing I never understood is that the, uh, the pockets uh, which is from the very easy Vogue V1197 pattern. They have you only cut out two pieces from the fashion fabric, which I thought was odd because then the other, the uh, one side of the pocket will be the, the fashion fabric and the other side will be the lining, which I thought made no sense. So I just cut four pieces uh, of the fashion fabric uh, to make the inseam pockets. And so that's what I did it. And, um, and also one thing I did was because the, uh, the, I, because the, a standalone skirt should fit a bit closer to the body than if the skirt um, is part of the dress. And so to make it more fitted, I added two darts here. So I removed about an inch and a half of the, uh, the circumference from the waist so then it just fits a lot better you know it's much more fitted so really not a whole lot of ease really uh, but I think that's how a skirt um, should fit and so I'm very happy about how it turned out and the only uh, change that I made for this version is the the sleeves so for this one I because I you know was so happy how uh, the sleeve uh, from the red uh, Ann Taylor Lock dress re, uh, refashion came out. So I wanted to do something similar, but instead of doing a three quarter sleeve blend, I thought I would do it maybe, you know, like a 90% kind of sleeves. So in this case, I, I shortened it by about an inch and then added the cuffs. And for the cuff piece here, the little band here, it's the same width as the original Onella uh, um, cuff length, but I just uh, but I cut out uh, the strip uh, in about two and a half inches, and so that gives me a final result you know, because this is folded four times, you know, one time over and then another time, and uh, so the final result is just a little over half an inch in the width of this band, and so I thought it gives a really nice sort of a flowy airy look to the sleeves. This shows you how I did the invisible stitching um, for the collar portion. And then, you know, I took a stitch, you know, 
in the folded area of the collar and then that's the only place where the thread really travels and then the thread will come back down uh, to the stitch line very close to the exterior side of the collar piece and then so I took a very small stitch this way then it will go back into the folded area of the collar piece that travels you know about maybe five or six millimeters and then we'll come straight down into that stitch line again so i took a small stitch this way and then so i will go back in again into the folded line and this way it gives me a very clean finish because the uh, the stitching is truly invisible and uh, so i'm very happy about how this works out even though it does it is a bit time consuming uh, now that I'm a little better, so it took me about an hour to do the uh, the collar portion, but I think it is uh, very w well worth the time and effort. So here is a quick video of this uh, Black Viscose Ensemble. And I paired it uh, with a pair of three and a half inch heels. And I am just so pleased uh, how this combination works out. In a way, I think maybe this combination is my favorite um, of the Onella blouses that I've made. And I, and I do think the combination of this Onella blouse with this uh, shortened uh, sleeves uh, paired with this new look skirt in this uh, very drapey viscose is the perfect choice uh, for both the blouse and the skirt. So I'm very happy uh, how this works out. And uh, even though originally I was concerned that this print might be a bit too busy, but now I, you know, those concerns were no longer here. I'm very happy how this works out. And uh, it looks perfectly professional if I needed to wear this for work. But also I think it's equally uh, suitable uh, for say dinner uh, dinner out with friends, etc. Uh, so I'm very happy and I think this may be one of my favorite garments that I have ever made so far. So these are the three Onella blouses uh, plus a matching skirt that I recently made and uh, as you can see you know by changing up the sleeves options and also the neckline a bit um, this very basic pattern uh, is incredibly versatile so I am so happy that I tried it and I hope you will give this free sewing pattern uh, a try too and uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you will stay safe and I hope I will see you soon bye bye